are here with the totally talented and sexy Rick from Lady Jack and Atler's Appetite. Um, so can you tell us about all your projects and bands going on right now? I know you're super busy. Uh, right now, like you said, I got the Lady Jack and then the Outdoor Appetite gig. Um, so those are the two current working on a solo record. So hopefully we'll find time to put all those uh, records out. That's kind of where I'm at with those bands. Very cool. Is there, does Lady Jack or Outdoor's Appetite take up more of your time right now? Right now, it's actually both of them are taking up all the time, and it's balancing them. Um, you think with the Adler's gig, it's just kind of like a cover band, but um, we have a summer tour coming out. We've been working on the record as well, so it's just like any other band, you know. Yeah, I mean, you guys are huge. You got members of Faster Pussycat, Guns N' Roses, Stephen Adler and Celebrity Rehab really blew up. So that band yeah. is it's really talked about. Um, so you play guitar and you sing. I do. Yeah. What age did you start doing both of those? Uh, probably 13. I mean, I started on drums. Um, funny enough, that's kind of why I got into music. I love Guns N' Roses so much, and I love Steven as a drummer. What a dream come true. Yeah, so to be playing in a band with him and, you know, being able to play on his drum set, you know, every chance I get, it's kind of a thrill itself, you know? Do you think it's easier to understand music when you play every instrument and you know what's going on? I think it's, it's good um, when writing music um, with a band because you kind of understand everyone's part. Um, it's easier to explain things and um, communication level, you know. But it puts you it puts you on a level with everyone else instead of just saying, oh, well, this idea, you know, and you can actually just show them, or vice versa, you know, if someone has a part they want to show you. you know? um, so besides Guns N' Roses, what was other musical influences for you? Soundgarden was huge. Um, Alice in Chains. I mean, I'm a '90s kid. I do the '80s thing with Adler, you know. So my band is more '90s. 90s and on, you know? Yeah. But uh, definitely Soundgarden. I mean, I was into Sublime. Marilyn Manson was a huge influence on me. Um, definitely, I would say anything from the 90s. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you're from Canada. When did you cross sure. the border? When did you come over to the States? Uh, I came over to visit um, about six years ago. So I go kind of back and forth, you know? I mean, born and raised there. And. Uh, but it's all about Hollywood now, right? You're not going back. Yeah, I mean, once, <laughs> once, once you get the sun all the year around, it, you know, it's, it makes it difficult going back, you know, to wake up with the palm trees and you can go to the beach anytime. It's gorgeous. I we mean, got the best of both worlds. Yeah, I mean, we got beaches in Canada, but I mean, they're lakes, not oceans, so there's kind of a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think, if you could put together your favorite musicians to make the ultimate album, who would it be? Uh... uh Probably Adler on drums. He's got the groove. Nice. Um, definitely Chris Cornell. I mean, we would have to share the vocal. <laughs> I'll probably be Go singing. I'll be singing his harmonies. Um, on guitar, I'd probably take Robo from Lady Jack. I mean, he's good shit. Uh, what about wow. bass? Bass-wise, yeah. I mean, Flea. You can't go wrong with Flea. You know? Wow. It'd be a funky That'd band. That'd be a really cool band. <laughs> So what's the wildest backstage moment that you've had? Can we uh, say? <laughs> I probably couldn't say on camera. Do you have an on stage moment that's Maybe been kind of funny that time? Uh, on stage, yeah, there's a few. I mean, one chick jumped up and grabbed the mic and tried to sing. And, you know, it's like, fuck you, you roll with it, you know? And yeah. then she, she gripped the mic so hard and wouldn't let go. That security came and uh, put her in like a headlock, and still like she wouldn't let go. <laughs> They're like going like that. You Did know? you know her? She's a big no, fan. She no, was she's like, just random girl. She was a page. fan, so we're like, oh, okay, you know. And you try to continue on with the song. And, you know, <laughs> Is it you, hard to keep it together? You well, like, that moment that? was like kind of you know it was funny. It caught me off guard, and I was trying to sing the lyrics, and you're laughing. Um, another moment I think was a week later on that same tour. This chick stood in front of the, the bus like this. It was like fucking Terminator 2, you know, just like wouldn't leave. And then same thing, it was like these gripper chicks, you know, grabbing <laughs> grabbing the handle Struggle. of, of the bus. Out. Yeah, we had to get the road manager to come, like, get her off. And she was kept coming back, you know. And it's like, Persistent. no one knew who she was. And no one even had her on the bus. So it was like, you don't know what this chick's deal was. <laughs> she saw the bus. She was on drugs or something. Saw the bus and thought, like, Magic Ride or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Um, do you have like a wild, crazy story with Steven Adler? Uh, I mean, there's he's he's a monkey, so there's like <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of moments. I mean, there's one that sticks out. I know on the tour bus, he's notorious for making food in the microwave and leaving it there. 
And this one time he went, made the food, and you know, he forgot to close the door and he turned around and clotheslined himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill me for this, but he went flying in the air, the fucking tortellini went everywhere. And then uh, the tour manager goes to go into his bunk and he found like pieces of like pasta under his pillow and all this shit. <laughs> Steve's like, oh, Steve's like, yeah, Steve's like, oh, I cleaned it up, but apparently he didn't, you know. And that was that was a bad day for the tour manager. You <laughs> Poor know, guy. he, uh, yeah, it was just a bad day. I mean, that that same day he sat on the, his drum seat, but there was no seat on it. It was just the post, so it like went right up his ass and then got bombarded with the yeah, other fucking incident. <laughs> There's always it. there's always goofy shit going. It's never boring. Maybe. It's always yeah. I mean it's always fun. You know that's the thing with these guys. It is what it is. Like we're a cover band with one of the original members. So I mean, as long as you stay on your game and you do the songs justice, it's all fun. You know? Everyone loves like Steel Panthers had huge success. Everyone loves to hear the great songs yeah. in the eighties and, yeah. and they can relate to them. Especially even overseas, it's blowing up yeah. bigger right it's, now. It's a good gig to have for like for musicians. You know, I mean, there's a lot of musicians that are out of work. So it's like a fortunate thing, you know. It helps me, helps me to have more time and you know finances for the original project. So yeah. I can't complain. That's great. Yeah. Um, is there a website in your MySpace and Facebook that we can find you and your band information on? Yep, uh, LadyJack.com, RickStitch.com, and then this new contest we're rolling out. It's called uh, NextVideoVixen.com. Basically, uh, we're looking for you know the next vixen for a video. So. We're gonna, sexy ladies, go check it sexy out. Sexy ladies, I want to rock with the bad boys. Ooh, you know? that sounds fun. So that's coming out. Um, probably in a couple weeks we're going to launch that. Whenever this airs, it'll probably be ready to go. So Great. go online, ladies, and register. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Rick, for being on Stephanie's yeah. Rock Show, and Anytime. good luck to you. That was Rick Stitch of Lady Jack and Atler's Appetite. If you like what you see, you can check out more on him at www.stephaniesrockshow.com.